A collection starts one comic book or one trading card or one toy at a time. I've been collecting since I was about five. I started with My Little Ponies. 29-year-old Mia Vasquez is proud of her ever-changing collection. I've gotten away from dolls and the girly stuff and I'm starting to get more into the action figures. And these collections aren't cheap. Probably about 5,000. I'd probably say maybe over $50,000 worth of stuff in there. At least quarter of a million dollars, at least. Oh yeah. Some of these toy collections take years to amass and thousands of dollars just to collect them, but they're not just for the little kids, they're for those who are still young at heart. I think the fact that you never lose your inner child and that's what continues to attract me to them. Bruce Gross has been collecting toy cars since 1977. It is something you get into when you're young and uh, it, 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 if, if you've got the, the bad DNA for it, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. For 50-year-old John Ortega, G.I. Joes are his toy of choice. I see these old vintage figures and there's something about them that just attracts me to them. They're like a lot, to me, better than the new stuff that they have nowadays. For them, it's more than just a hobby. It's a passion. The fun part to me is, is the chase, finding those pieces that you need to complete the set. So it's, sometimes it could be really hard, but sometimes it's, uh, you know, it's, it's rewarding at the end when you get it all put together. You know, it's what we do, and I've been doing it forever. So it's, 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 it's in your blood. Mauricio Casillas, ABC7.